Hi everybody. This video tip is to explain a little bit about how probabilities, odds and odds ratios relate to one another. And to do that, I've come out here to my trusty beer fridge. So if you look inside here, what we'll see is that I have two New Zealand beers. The first is Spates, which is particularly enjoyed by people in the South Island of New Zealand. And the second is DB Export Citrus, which isn't quite as popular. Now if you look at the top shelf here, there are three bottles of beer. There are two Spates and one citrus beer. So if I was to randomly select a beer from that top shelf, the probability that I would select a spades would be two thirds. And the probability that I would select the citrus beer would be one third. Now the odds is just a way to compare the probabilities of two outcomes. So the odds of selecting a spades would be two. We calculate that by the probability of the spates divided by the probability of selecting the citrus beer, which is two thirds divided by one third, which is two over one, which gives us the odds of two. And the way we interpret that is that the probability of selecting a spates is twice as large as the probability of selecting the citrus beer. Now, if we move down to the second shelf here, there are six bottles of spates and one bottle of citrus. So the probabilities of selecting each type of beer would be 6 sevenths and 1 seventh respectively, or the odds of selecting a spates would be 6, which tells us that the probability of selecting a spates is 6 times greater than the probability of selecting a citrus beer. Now an odds ratio is just a way to compare two sets of odds. For example, suppose the, the top shelf represented uh, a control group and the bottom shelf represented a treatment group and we wanted to know how does the uh, odds change under the treatment group compared to the control group. And the way we calculate that is literally just to take the ratio of those two odds. So in this case it would be 6 divided by 2 which gives us the value of 3 which tells us the, the odds of selecting a space is 3 times greater on the second shelf than the odds of selecting a space from the top shelf. Now we use odds ratios quite often, particularly when we're trying to interpret the effects of coverts and predictive variables. It's a way just to summarise in a comparative sense how our odds change under different sets of conditions. So note that if I maintain that this treatment group, that the odds of selecting a spates is always going to be three times greater than the odds of selecting a spates from the top shelf, if I change the odds of selecting a spates on the top shelf, so now the odds is one, there's one spates for every one citrus, or it's even odds, and if the odds ratio effect of the treatment effect is that the odds are three times different, that tells me that the odds on the second shelf must be three. So one times the odds ratio of three is the odds of selecting the spates on the second shelf. So there you have it. I hope that's helped. Thanks very much for your attention. If you want to find out some more details, visit our news, tips and tricks page on the Proteus website. See you later. Bye.